Faraday containers. These are really interesting. I've done several videos where you can use aluminum, HVAC tape, copper tape, make yourself a Faraday bag. This works. Maybe just use aluminum foil. So I'll post them up there and down below if you're interested. But not everybody wants to make a bag. Aluminum foil is like hit or miss. You get one little pinhole and it's over. So I've decided to do two different videos. One with Faraday bags that you can purchase. These were $6 for two and these were $11, $12 for two. On another video, I'm going to go into containers you might have in your home, which ones work and which ones don't. And the two test subjects are things that pretty much everybody has, key fobs and smartphones. People get sensitive that somebody might be able to replicate this and then take your card, or maybe you want to protect your phone for some reason. This video will focus on finding containers around your home and testing them yourselves to see which ones work for you. You can do your own test. That's the great thing about this evaluation, especially for the cans. I've got pre-dial, redial on my phone here and see if this calls. So that's the ringer when I get this call. Some people think you can wrap a phone in aluminum foil it will be protected. You got to really kind of seal it up well and do something like this. It can absolutely so there's nothing in there. So we'll see if that keeps it from being. Aluminum foil doesn't work as a Faraday cage for a phone. But then you can't shut it off. Now let's go through some containers and see how we can do. We proved that the aluminum foil doesn't work. How about this one? Big steel container. And we're not going to put the lid on it. See what happens. Sound coming through. Now some people think if you can seal the can with some aluminum foil, wrap it around like this, and just kind of get the top so nothing comes through. You gotta make sure there's no holes in the aluminum foil. All right, so that's nice and sealed. Now let's see if I can send. Coming through aluminum foil. How about something like a lunch box? Put it in there, it's nice and sealed up. It's got a nice little container. Call up, see what happens. Coming through the lunchbox. So the only other container I can think of that might have some success is this antique coffee container. You're gonna put it in there because it's got a really nice tight lid. Call up again. Usually if you get a dial tone, that means it's getting through. Look at that. This old coffee can, I think it's made out of aluminum. Okay, it took a while. Interesting. Right, let's try it again because it wouldn't go through at first until I moved it. So let's make sure it's nice and tight. Not going through. So if your container is nice and tight, it just took a while to go through. Interesting, it, had, it, it delayed it, but ultimately it defeated the container. This one was so close, it seemed to work almost. So I was thinking, what if I wrapped the phone in aluminum foil, then put it in the tight container? It's tight, push it down good, and see if the phone will work now. Double layer keeps the wireless subscriber you have called is not available. The aluminum foil and the container, double wrapped, protects the phone. So that's the phone. Let's take the key fob, go out to the car, with all these different 
options and see how we can do protecting the key fob. Here's the control. Car is locked. Okay, I go away, I come back, and I'll get close to the car and it will automatically open itself up. If one of these bags or containers blocks that signal, we'll know that it works to block the fob. How about an old school lunchbox? I don't even know if people have these anymore. Put it in there. Seal it up and put that down. We'll see if that works. Nope. The signal is getting through the smallest little cracks in the lunchbox. So the lunchbox will not protect your fob. Thumbs down on this one. Lock it up again. How about a big old steel container? Is that going to protect it? Maybe. Let's get it close. Point in the direction. Yeah. It could, depending on how deep it is. Let's bring it up a little bit and see if it makes a difference. Yeah, see? It's got to be way down in the bottom there. Lock it. Put it in without the lid. See how it does. Comes right out. See, this is where that shallow containers are really not helping out at all. Again, you can try this on your own with any container you have. All right, we're gonna lock it up, put it in here, but we're gonna put the nice tight lid on there and see if that makes any difference. Nope. A nice tight lid container passes your key fob protection test. Open it up. There you go. The lid, nice and tight, makes all the difference. And that's compared to this lunchbox. The lunchbox may look tight, even on the bottom, but there's some gaps in there where the signal's coming through. Okay, we're gonna lock it up again, and we're gonna use aluminum foil. Just put it in there and wrap it up nice and tight. Make sure there's no holes, and see, if aluminum foil will protect your fob. Looks like it does. Now let's open it up and see if it will trigger. See? Aluminum foil can protect your fob if you don't have anything else. The only problem is you get any little hole in there and the signal is going to get through. So what did we learn? Two layers, in this case, a container and aluminum foil, although both defeated separately, when combined, protect your phone. Both separately will protect a key fob. Old school lunchbox, doesn't seem to work. Big steel cylinder, doesn't protect your phone, even if you put something on top to seal it off. But in the case of your fob, as long as it's at the bottom, you might be protected. But if you're not so sure, seal it up with the aluminum foil. Thumbs up and comments, always appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in doing tests just like me on all sorts of things that might work as a Faraday cage or a Faraday pack or a Faraday can, making and breaking things, designs of all kinds, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know. What kind of crazy testing you're gonna see.